Blog Talk Radio. souls and welcome to today's spiritual guidance radio i'm your host katherine hahn and for those who are tuning in i welcome you and i hope that you had a wonderful week this week so we are in the month of july um, and it is going to be a beautiful month and so we're going to talk a little bit more about what to expect this month But before we do that, we are going to do our meditation so that we can just, you know, just just be cleared and just be able to um, be still and be at peace, so that we can really be ready for any messages that the divine has for us to come through for us. So if you are able to, I invite you to. Just sit comfortably somewhere and close your eyes. And then we're going to put our hands on our heart to really be in our heart space as we take a few deep breaths in through our nose. Or, <laughs> yep, in through your nose and out through your mouth. And we're just going to keep breathing as we Create that atmosphere in our heart space, whatever that may look like for you, uh, with different elements in nature. So if that is a body of water, if that is plants or animals, um, anything else in nature that really calms you, that makes you feel at peace. So we're going to place that in our heart space. And as we do, we're also going to be inviting our angels and guides. So if you want to place that open door in your heart space, we're going to go ahead and invite them in so that they can support our energy, that they can raise our vibrations, and really send us that energy that they bring, that love and light, energy to us as we clear out all the old all the old energy and bring in this new energy that the divine is bringing us especially as we are now in July in this new month so as they join us in our heart space to keep breathing in, breathing into your nose, breathing out through your mouth. And really feeling their presence as we come here, as we let go of all the things that have bothered us this week, that have really been affecting us this week and to really let that go and to just give it to the divine. And we have Archangels Raphael, we have Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Raphael, all joining us along with your your angels and guides. We're going to really feel that energy that they bring as they support us, as they guide us, as they speak to us. The archangels with their energies that really that swirl around us as they really help us to recharge and renew, 
help us to really take away all of that old energy that we no longer need and transform that into new energy, this divine love and light energy that fills in all the spaces that our old energy was. Then we're going to have source energy come through through our crown chakra all the way down. And source energy is going to help cleanse each and every one of our chakras as it goes down from our our crown chakra all the way down, all the way to our feet. And along with the Archangel's energies, they're going to help ground our energy, so from our root chakra all the way down to the center of the earth, there's going to be this rainbow light that goes all the way down. And what comes back up is this golden and white energy that comes back up through our feet, Filling each and every part of our our bodies as it comes up and out through our crown chakra and it flows over like a fountain of water and then flows down to the ground and spreads out to those who need it, who need your energy, who need the energy of the divine out into the world. So as we feel this energy that they bring, Archangel Michael is going to wrap us in with his cloak of energy to help us to integrate the messages and the energy that the Archangels and the Divine bring. And as we keep breathing in through our nose, out through our mouth, we're going to bring back awareness slowly in our bodies. And you can open up your eyes. And welcome back. All right. So I hope everyone had a wonderful week. And this week, you know, we are now in July. Um, We're past the halfway mark of this year, um, believe it or not. And it is going to be an amazing month. Um, And a faster moving month and the months ahead as we get closer to the end of this year. And so if you've already thought that half of the year, the first half of the year went by fast, it's going to go by pretty fast uh, for the second half. Um, And, you know, for many of us, the first half of this year was, you know, was a time for us to do a lot of healing, a lot of work on ourselves, um, and letting go, especially with this last moon, too, a full moon that we had. We we were doing a lot of work, a lot of letting go, a lot of things brought up to the surface for us that we need to let go. And so now this month is going to be a transition period, um, in a sense. So we have Archangels Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, we have Archangel Jophiel, and, and Archangel Sandalfon all stepping forward for us this month. And they are really having us to trust first in the process, trust in the divine, uh, trust in what it is that is coming from the divine that is meant for you. So, you know, beginning of the month is always great to set intentions of what it is that you want to see coming to fruition for your life for not only this month, but for the rest of this year. So what is it that you want to see really happen for you when it comes to this year? What do you want to see really 
when it comes to your life, when it comes to what it is that you want it to look like. Um, and remember, the divine wants us to um, really go after those things that we truly want, uh, because that is, you know, when we are passionate about something, when we truly desire something, it is meant for us. So what does that look like? So if you are still needing to do some journaling around that, you know, I encourage you to do that um, this week. But, you know, this month is going to be first about trusting in the process. And so, you know, once you set those intentions to trust that the divine is going to bring, take you and bring you those next steps that are needed for you to really get closer and closer to those goals, to what it is that you truly want. Now, when it comes to trusting in the process, a lot of times we have fears and doubt come in because it does not, the, those next steps that we might be seeing does not quite look like what it is that we were expecting. So it's important for us to trust that the divine, that the universe has our interests at heart. You know, we have to remember that the divine wants us to live that lo that life of love and joy and happiness. And so that includes our passions, what it is that we truly want, That that's connected with what is meant for us and what it is that our purpose is. So in that, we have to trust that the divine is going to bring us those next steps that are meant for us so that we can be close to those goals, even though it may not look like what it is that we were expecting. And so you know, what is it that the, your goals are? What do you want to see come into first? You know, whether it is something tangible, and you something that you want, something when it comes to your business and your your job, um, when it comes to relationships, what is it that, what does it look like? And really be specific on what it is that you want. You know, remember, we are able to, when we say things, when we um, really visualize things, visualize things, we can really manifest those things into our life because that is something that we truly want. So what is it that you want? Be clear about it. So that is the first thing that is um, coming in. So trusting, but also having faith and truly believing that the divine is going to bring it to you. And so that's why it's really important for us to, you know, have the clarity on what it is that we want and and to truly believe that the divine is going to bring that to us, that they're going to, you know, have that, you know, come into fruition for us. And so it's, you know, this month is going to be about trusting and having that faith. Also, it's really about, you know, letting go of that control. So it may be a limiting belief for you. It may be something that you need to work on of releasing and letting go of. Uh, but if we hold on too tight of how it is that we expect things to happen, we are going to miss out on those signs and the experiences and the situations that come in that the divine brings us. Now, I'm not saying that you'll completely miss it um, and it won't come back. That's not the case because if we do miss um, those opportunities that come our way, you know, the divine is always going to bring it back to us to show us and remind us. Um, but, you know, as people, as those who are spiritually awakened, it's going to be important for us to see that everything that we experience, all the things that we go through, are there for a reason. It happens for a reason. So having that faith and to also go with the flow this month. So you know, don't resist it. But know that and have in your mind lead you into that path 
so that you can reach those goals that you have, that you, that you can step into the purpose that you were meant for. So what does that look like for you? Now, um, so if you'd like to discuss about that, um, the energy that you're feeling into, um, also, I will be talking about the topic as well. I don't have a topic on here, but that also has to do with the energy of this month as well. So um, if you'd like to, you know, speak with me, receive some guidance, um, or just would like to share what it is that you've been going through, um, be sure to give me a call at 714-816-4628. And don't forget to press one on that keypad if you'd like to be on air with me. All right. So as you can probably see, I didn't have a topic on here uh, for this week. And the reason, and like I had mentioned, it had to do with the energy of this month. They, the divine wanted me to trust in the process as well. They wanted me to trust and have that faith as well. So I came in here not quite knowing what it is that I was going to speak about until probably early, like really early this morning. And so, you know, I didn't get a chance to um, have that put up. But, you know, the divine was showing me and reminding me that it was about trusting in in them, in the divine, in what it is that they were going to have me speak about this today. And so when I was, you know, I was just doing a few things and um, just going about my, my <laughs> business, um, when it all started coming to me, uh, that's when the divine started showing me First, the energy of this month, and which had to do with trusting, because you know I, I, my, myself, um, our my the producer here, Dax, you, you know he actually reminded me. He's like, you know, what is it that you're going to be speaking about? And I told him, I don't know. I I have no idea. And so, you know, it's it was important for us to really trust and have that faith that what it is that I needed to speak about is what was going to be brought to me from the divine. So this morning when I, um, you know, I, I was, you know, I was doing, getting ready for bed and that's when it all came in. And so we are going to be talking more about when it comes to it. It's called, it's, <laughs> what they showed me is the me in we. Okay, so that may be a little bit, um, it, it may sound odd, um, <laughs> but, you know, we, we're going to be talking more about how it is, one of the limiting beliefs that um, I know for myself that I have had to really work through. And so, you know, when I talk about me, the me and me, uh, and me and we, um, you know, it has to do with us, that, that selfless us versus the selfish. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about that. Um, so if you are needing some guidance, if you'd like to uh, talk a little bit and about that, to share what it is that you've been going through, um, be sure to give me a call at 714-816-4628. And don't forget to press 1 on that keypad. All right. So before I go move on to, you know, to some callers, I'm going to just kind of explain what it is that they wanted me to share with you when it comes to that me in we. And so, you know, I, I know there there's no me in the word we. Although if you, you know, flipped around the M, you would get the W um, for we. So, you know, I, I think that's just kind of a play that they were going with. And the divine can be, you know, um, they they have humors too. <laughs> so uh, they have a sense of humor as well. So, um, you know, when it comes to the me and we, you know, 
what they were showing me um, today was the fact how so many times we grow up, you know, believing, being shown, being taught that it's important that we are selfless. So we, that we are always thinking of others, that we are always there for others and serving others um, and, you know, doing all this stuff for other people, helping other people. But if we think about our, us, you know, then that word selfishness comes into play. But what the divine wants us to know and remind us of is that we need both. We need to be selfless, but it's important for us to be, and I, I really don't like this word, that the word selfish, but, you know, it, it's important for us to think of ourselves um, first and really love ourselves and take care of ourselves. And so, you know, many times I have mentioned on the show, you know, how it's important for us to really have that strong foundation of love for ourselves. And, you know, that is so important in order for us to then be able to share that love that we have with other people by doing those things that we love to do, by by really... um, going after those things that we love because when we do that, our energy is is there. That energy of love and the energy of divine, uh, divine light is there because we're doing those things that we are meant to do. You know, when we're in joy and happiness, that's where we're meant to be. That's what it is that we are meant to do. So, but a lot of times we grow up, you know, thinking that in order for us to be, you know, helping other people, being there for others, doing good, that it's that we have to be selfless. But in in order for us to be there for others, we need to be selfish too. We need to be, you know doing those things that we love to do, doing those things that fill us up, that are you know, really energize us and rejuvenate us. Because if we don't have that, we have no love to give to other people. You know, so, you know, that that is a limiting belief that many of us grow up with, especially if, um, you know, if you're out there listening and you grew up that way where you you were told that you had to be selfless, that you had to always be there for other people, helping other people in so many different ways. Um, but, you know, but we couldn't be selfish. So that is a limiting belief that we need to really let go of. And I'm one of those people where I grew up, you know, thinking that. And when we grow up, with that idea, with that that notion that in order for us to, you know, be good and help other people, that we have to be selfless, that we have to not really think about ourselves, that is something that we need to really change. And the divine is reminding us that it's important first for us to love ourselves first. Do those things that make us happy first so that we can help those others who are needing to see that joy, that are needing to see that the divine is there to make them, want, they want them to be happy too and live that life that they're meant to live and do those things that they truly love to do. But you know, because of that limiting belief that we grow up with saying that, you know, we we can't really think of ourselves, that's also when regrets happen. And that's when also we get, um, you know, resentment. And we feel as if no one cares about us. And we get those triggers. We get, 
angry, we get upset. And so it's really important for us to really go back to who it is that we are. Um, really, and, and sometimes it takes for us to step back from helping other people and looking into us and really doing a self-check. What, where is it that I need to work in my life in order for me to be happy, be in joy, so that I can help other people? So, you know, and because of resentments and because of regrets, a lot of times we have all this anger built up and we see that around us a lot with other people that we may know, uh, other people that we may work with, that it's, a, it's because of that, that lack of, you know, that lack of love for ourselves that not having that strong foundation of truly loving who it is that we are because of how we've grown up, that is why so many of us have that feeling of emptiness or have that feeling where we we just are lacking. We, we're not we're missing something, and we're we don't have that love that we are meant for. So if you are out there, you know, and you 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 understand what that you know how that is for you, you know, know that it is never late. To, it's never too late to be able to truly love who it is that you are. You may be telling me, you may be saying to yourself, you know, I'm. 80, 90 um, years old, 70, 60 um, years old, and I feel like it's too late. It is never too late. If you're still alive, it's not too late. So, and, and, you know, the divine is always reminding us of that, that it's never too late. You can always, you know, go back to that, go back to basics, you know, let go of those slimming beliefs, you know, really look into how it is that you can truly love yourself and when you are able to fill yourself up with that love that the divine is wanting to give us, that are that they're pouring onto us, that is when we can truly start to be there for others, help others to awake, help others to see that they are also meant for that love and that light. And that is how you help other people. Okay? So that's my little spiel <laughs> for today. So I'm going to go ahead and take a few callers. So if you'd like to receive some guidance or would like to add to what it is that I'm speaking about today, um, please be sure to give me a call at 714-816-4628. And don't forget to press 1 on that keypad. All right. Um, so let's take our first caller. We have area code 256. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? This is Kimberly calling from Georgia. Hi, Kimberly. How are you today? I'm well. What about you? I'm great, thank you. So, how can I help you today? Um, I think I would just like a message. I I really like what okay. you talked about, um, and it's amazing how I just go to blog talk and listen to something that's resonating with me about trust. Uh, because that's mm-hmm. what I'm working on right now. Mhm. Mhm. It is amazing, isn't it, how the divine works. There's a reason for everything. And so whenever we hear something that resonates that or see something that resonates, it's just, it is amazing. Um, so I have Archangel Shamuel stepping forward for you, as well as Archangel um, Raphael and Archangel Gabriel. Um, so they're all stepping forward for you because first they want you to see just how amazing you are. You have been doing a lot of healing work, and they see all of that, okay? So, oh, I just got a whole like, 
whole bunch of energy um, comes come in. Um, but they want you to know that you are so loved. You even have your you, – you had um, family members pass, right? Yes. Okay. So they're always with you. They're always guiding you. They're always supporting you. They're always cheering you on. Um, and then you have your guardian angels as well as your spirit guides and the archangels. Um, So to know that you are always being guided and supported. So, you know, even if times you feel lonely or you feel as if you don't have that support, you have so much support behind you, okay? That's the first thing. And also to know that, you know, they're seeing all that work that you're doing on yourself. Okay, now it's important for you to be a little bit patient with yourself, especially this month. There's going to be a lot of different energies coming in for you um, that's going to pull you in different directions, okay? But it's important for you to really trust in your intuition and trust in yourself because you have this great ability of knowing Um, but you have to be able to trust it, okay? So all those signs that you've you've seen, all those, um, um, all the um, synchronicities that you've been seeing, to trust in that and know that it's meant for you. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Was it... Something that you wanted to share? <laughs> I just have a feeling. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to share uh, in reference to the trusting. About two weeks ago, um, I was noticing or I was just dwindling. I think it was more self-pity. And I noticed mm-hmm. that the uh, perception was that I was believing a story that um, something that I thought was going to happen was going to happen in in my timing. And Mm -hmm. I just, I didn't know if it was going to happen or not. And for about two weeks, I was in that story about, well, what if it doesn't come through? And then I realized, Mm -hmm. not realized, but um, I'm a student of A Course of Miracles, and, and I was guided to go to um, a lesson where the lesson states that you have to put your future, your present, your past, all in God's hands. And if I do that, then I won't have to worry, and I won't have any stress. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's the, that's the first step in trusting because I realized mm-hmm. I had a fear of failure because so many so many things I desired to do just didn't happen for me mm-hmm. for so long. But it's not up to me to compare. And then it's, it's also a objective to understand that what's happening, what I desire to happen for me needs to be in my best interest. Um, sometimes mm-hmm. I can desire something that may not be in my best interest either. So that's another mm-hmm. thing that I have to take you know, with my intuition and listen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Exactly, yes. So, you know, it, you know, there are, and also we have to remember that when we set those intentions of what it is that we truly want in our lives, that the divine is going to bring it to us. It's not going to look the way that we expect it to to be, but they're going to, they are going to do it in your best interest. It's just going to look a little different as you get there. Right. I'm mm-hmm. noticing, noticing. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Awesome. So, you know, just keep keep going. Keep going. <laughs> They're always guiding you. They're always supporting you. 
and you have this great gift of knowing, understanding, and and feeling. Okay, so you just have to trust in that, and trust in who it is that you are, and and what it is that you're learning. You're 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 seeing those signs that you're seeing. The synchronicity is all that because you are on that right path. Okay, so just keep going. You know, and know that you're going to get there in one way or another. <laughs> right. I agree. Mm-hmm. I agree. All and right. it's that keep going. You got to keep going. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. I hope you have a wonderful weekend as well. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, let's go to our next caller. And if you are needing some guidance, if you would like to um, share with us what it is that you've been learning, uh, I, I I welcome you to call in um, and, uh, you know, just share with us. Uh, so that number, again, is 714-816-4628. And don't forget to press 1 on the keypad. All right, let's go to our next caller. We have area code 850. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Keisha from North Carolina. Hi, Keisha. How are you today? I'm fine. And yourself? I'm great. Thank you. So how can I help mm-hmm. you today? I was wondering, do you see me moving soon? I hear a no at the moment. So I have Archangel uh, Shamuel and Archangel Raphael stepping forward, as well as Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Sandalphon. Um, so uh-huh. they're all the archangels that are really, um, really stepping forward this month. And so this month it's going to be important for you to kind of step back and let the divine work it's their magic. <laughs> that that is what they're sharing mm-hmm. with me. Um so it, it's about letting go of that control. Um you know we have to remember that the divine is always going to work you know for us. And so it's mm-hmm. important for us to you know Set those intentions. What is that you really want out of your life? And then you have to let that go and let the divine do their work so that they could show you that their next steps so that you could really, you know, be on that path towards what it is that you are meant to see and do. And I do see a lot of great things happening for you in the future, not just yet, though. So, you know, they're, they're, telling you no right now but that doesn't mm-hmm. mean no for later okay so right. as of right now what they want you to work on is that love for yourself doing those things that you love to do so that you can see what that is what it is that you're meant to do going forward when it comes to uh, long term so are you have you been so with this move you've been thinking about a new job um and kind of starting over type of thing yeah um actually um i'm I'm working on getting a new job right now, and um so the job will come before um the actual move so but I just okay. was kind of wondering if I would have to because it looks like my situation is a little strained right now. I was kind of wondering if I would have to move before, you know, uh, me actually trying to uh, complete the process of me getting a new job, you know, begin. So I was just kind of wondering what where, where mm-hmm. spirit was in terms of that. Mm-hmm. So, you know, trust in the process. You know, that that is the theme of this month to really trust okay. in what it is that they're showing you, but to also don't lose sight of what it is that you truly want. You know, do some journaling on that. What is it that you want to do? Okay. What is it? And start little. You know, don't start too big. So start with what is it that you want to do tomorrow, let's say, or what do you want to do for this month that, that you really love to do? And that's going to help 
get the ball rolling for you uh, on what it is that you really want to see coming to fruition for you. And that's setting your intention, okay? And as you do that, you really then start to get those aha moments, and that's usually from the divine in telling you this is what's coming in next for you. This is what you need to do next in order to move forward, okay? But okay. don't push it. So don't. So let it just happen. So, you know, do some journaling on what's, what's coming in for you. What is it that you feel that you really want to do? you know, before you think about moving. Um, And not to think about money, not to think about how you're going to pay for something, how it's Mm -hmm. going to come in, because all of that is going to be worked out for you. Just think about what it is that you truly want without any of those living beliefs, any of the, the ego stepping forward and the fears and doubts that come in. Um, because, you know, you, you mentioned that you were a little bit strained right now, but you uh-huh. know that when we you know, do those things that we're meant to do, the divine is going to bring about that abundance for us. So they're going to provide for us. They're going to, you know, give us those opportunities to be able to mm-hmm. move forward and do those things that we're meant to do, Okay. Okay. All right. And it That's is going good. to start this weekend for you. So, you know, do some journaling. It's going to get the you know, balls to start rolling this week. Okay? Okay. Sounds good. All right. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, uh-huh. Have a great weekend. And you do the same. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, let's go to our next caller. We have area code 954. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? My name is Mary. I'm calling from Florida. Uh, thank you for taking my call. Um, I'm, I'm in a crisis right now because I'm wondering if I'm going to have to move. Um, I've been trying to get help for a, a health issue, and... Um, I, in the meantime, I came home today, and unexpectedly, my partner moved out and took everything with him and uh, didn't pay the rent for the month, so uh, his share, and it was quite a shock. We had some words the day before, and some things have been upset, but I really didn't expect this would happen. So now I'm I'm really kind of in a bind. I don't know how I'm going to pay the rent completely, especially now when I'm having a health issue. Okay. You? First, so uh, Mary, I have Archangel Raphael and Archangel Gabriel stepping forward, and they're telling you to breathe. First, take a breath. <laughs> yeah. um, I, right. I I know it. it, it it, you're you're going through a lot of stress right now, and so you're know, hearing that may not be you know something that you want to hear at this moment, but they're they're showing you that you first you are supported, okay? You they're there with you. They see everything that you're going through. So it's important for you to first take a breath and step back a little bit, okay? So even though you want to go rush, rush, rush because you feel that all of these things aren't working and you have to, you know, do all of these different things. If you keep pushing that way, nothing's going to happen the way that you want it to because you're, you're resisting. Okay. So it's important for you to kind of calm down a little bit, do some journaling, do some meditating. If you do meditate, be still for a little bit. Okay. Um, So, even though everything is stressful, you're going through a lot right now, it's t- it's important for you to take some time to breathe, you know, in through your nose, out through your mouth, you know, just um, imagine that ocean, uh, that calm ocean, um, anything that really helps you to feel calm and do some meditating. Um, and then anything that's on your mind to journal it out. So have a notebook, um, beside your bed, 
um, beside you and just start writing. Start writing everything that you're going through, everything that you're feeling, everything that's on your mind. So you're going to do this brain dump, okay? Because right now, divine can't speak to you with all of this stuff in your head, with everything that's going on. So we have to clear out all this old energy, clear out everything that you're going through. And then what's going to ha start happening is you're going to be able to think through what it is that you need to do with the help of the divine. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So first you kind of step back a little bit, you know, let go of your troubles for a little bit. Um, you know, do some things that you love to do. Um, do you like to take nice hot baths? You know, well, read a book. Right now, I, I, I have physical uh, problems, so I, I can't even get in a bathtub, but can shower. Okay. But um, okay. my, my condition is right now is difficult, and I'm seeing specialists to resolve it. And I have a lot of medical appointments coming up, and um, mm -hmm. I really don't have anyone I can rely on at this point. Maybe have I figure I might have enough for another month, but at this point I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, I'm you not know, sure it, if he'll and, change okay. hard or so, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really so don't know. you just right now just take a breather and kind of do something that can get your mind out of this. So you know journaling helps. You know getting everything on paper. And then start to do some things that really raise your vibrations. You know, listening to some music. Um, you know, anything to make you feel more at ease, more comfortable. Um, that, that helps raise your vibration. And then what's going to happen is to, and this is what they're showing me, is to be upfront with where you're renting from, the the, the yeah. people who um, are owning your property, yeah. to speak to them about what it is that's going on. So be honest with them. Um, just be upfront and say, hey, this is my situation right now. Um, so what can you help me with? There are people out there that want to help you. Okay, you just have to let them. You have to give them that opportunity. So, you know, just be upfront with them, you know, say, hey, you know, this is what's going on. And you'd be surprised by what they can do for you. Okay? Yeah, I know right now because of COVID and that, they had people, you know, that had problems too. And they had a lot of people moving out and in and a lot of situations. And they had a lot of repairs. So, I, I don't know. You know, it's just... I don't know if they'll work with me you have or how to, they... You have to trust that there are people out there that really do want to help you, even though you may be seeing other, thing, other things happen around you. Don't let that cloud your judgment, okay? Don't let that um, affect what it is that you do for yourself, okay? So, right. you know, go be upfront. Um, and let them know, and you would be surprised by what would happen, okay? So, okay, well, I, I will have to anyway because I thought he was going to pay it today when I left for the doctors, and um, that didn't happen. And so I got a note that he was gone and everything. So it's just I'm still trying to process all of this at one time and feeling very poorly from being at the doctors all day so i'm going to know try that to it, it will all know that it will work out okay so you know i just okay. want you to know that and you are supported through this process you know you, you are not alone through this process that i won't be without a place to live or anything you have to trust that everything is going to work out for you and it will you know you just have to first you know let it all go you know do that work on paper you know do some 
some things to really calm, it'd be calm, because that's not going to help your, your condition either. Okay? No, I understand. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, mm-hmm. I, I appreciate your input and um, being able to talk to somebody about it, because right now I don't really have anybody, because nobody knows about it but okay. me right now and him. So, yeah, that's the way it is. Well, I'm sending you lots of love and light, okay? Thank you. Thank you and so if, much. If you, you're welcome. And if you still need to talk to someone, you go to, if you um, have Facebook, I, I'm on facebook.com slash spiritual guidance radio. So you okay. can go there and message me there, okay? Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Have a safe weekend. Well, you too, okay? Thank you. All right. All right, let's go to our next caller. We have area code 443. Hello, caller, what is your name and where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Suzanne, and I'm calling from Maryland. Hi, Suzanne, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. So how can I help you today? Well, I would love to have just a general message of whatever it is I need to hear for, you know, the greater good and um, whatever I need to know. Okay. First, I have a feeling that you have some things to share, some things that you've been going through lately, or you've learned well, something you learned, actually. Yes, I am very much on a spiritual journey that um, I've been told that I'm going to be able to communicate with spirit, and I've been working super hard on meditating and finding time to just really have my mind be quiet and and wait for and it's really hard because I'm believing it now that it's going to happen but I don't know how it's going to happen so I'm waiting <laughs> for that but at least now I'm convinced that it's going to happen and I just have to yes. keep working hard um and it's going to happen and I was listening to what you were telling the other callers and it made me feel very comfortable because I have this passion for wanting to help people the way that I was helped when I went to somebody after my father passed away and and what a joy it brought to me to know that he was still there and where he was and what how he communicated with me and I want to do that for other people and so it was really nice to hear that when you do this work and you do what it is that your soul's purpose is that the other things will kind of fall in line you won't have to worry about those Yes, exactly. Um, so it's so um, it, it feels so good from you when you say all of that, uh, how it is that you want to help people, because you know, you know what it is that you want to do. Now, this energy of this month is about trusting in the process and having that faith. And so it's important for you to know that it's going to happen, but you, you have to stop trying so hard. Okay, you have okay. to let that go. You know, it's part of that, uh, uh, our limiting beliefs and things that we need to heal when it comes to control. So to know that because you've already set the intention, because the divine knows that this is how you want to help people, that you have to then let them show you how that's going to happen. And, yeah, it's not going to be the way that we expect it, the the way we see it. But to know that it, it's, always, it's going to be there, those steps are going to be there. So what is it that the, that next step is? And right now they're telling you to wait. <laughs> so that's, wait, okay. that's part of their magic <laughs> when it comes to the divine. Okay. They like to tell us to wait, um, especially when we want to keep going. We want to keep growing uh-huh. and we want to transform really quickly, but they have that perfect timing. So we have to remember right. that and to know that Archangel, right now I have Archangel Raphael, I can have Archangel Samuel stepping forward for you, and they want you to mm-hmm. really work on you. Okay, we're really working on yourself and that love, that foundation of love for yourself because okay. that is where that love is going to spill out from, from you, okay? 
And mm-hmm. I know that you've already done a lot of work on yourself, and you, you're, you're still doing that work, but there's still some things that are deep in there, uh, some limiting beliefs and things that you've kind of, that has been ingrained in you um, in childhood, through childhood, um, that needs to be really brought up to the surface and let go of. So that, and it does, a, a lot of that has to do with the control, um, but there are some other fears and doubts that are coming in that needs to be healed and let go of. So, you know, keep working on you, keep digging in deeper, um, and then you yes, have already. Where to go. So it like, so when it comes so when it comes to working on yourself it's going backwards. So um okay. when it comes to that that control um what when's the la- the next memory that you know of where you felt that you had to have control. And then what happens is as you keep doing that that work and keep going back you start to see where it stems from. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so, you know, that's how you can really work through that and work through the spheres. Also, um, you know, tr- also trust in your memories, to the, the, the snapshots that you get from your memory, because mm-hmm. that's part of that healing process. Um, so you are very clairvoyant. Um, as well as I do feel that you, you're very empathic. So um, you, the feeling, um, you have that, that gift of feeling um, and knowing as well. So, you know, use all of those together to really, and um, also when it comes to um, memories, uh, it's attached to feelings as well. So, you know, writing them all down they're going to help you to really see how far back it goes and where that stems from um you know don't be afraid to uh write down um you know people and experiences and situations that you've been in that have um contributed to needing that control okay okay um, we right. have a baby due any day, and I'm just wondering if you have any dates that you're hearing. Uh, no dates, but I do hear soon. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so, but yeah, just you know, keep trusting because even when it comes to this, you know, it all ties together when it comes to yeah. your gifts and and practicing your gifts and. Um, you know, and keep being there for those people, but those people that you feel that you, you're being called to. But remember you. Don't forget about yourself, you know, taking okay. care of yourself, doing those things that you love to do. That's when we start to raise that vibration and then start to be able to hear what it is that the divine wants us to see and hear and feel. Okay? Okay. All right. I really appreciate your time. You are very welcome. I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July weekend. Thank you. You too. Thank you so much. All right. We'll talk soon, okay? Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. All right. Let's go to our next caller. We have area code 856. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? Uh, Rosemary from New Jersey. Hi, Rosemary. How are you today? Fine. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. So, was there something you'd like to share? Uh, I know there's a lot of confusion (laughs) and a lot of learning to stay calm and don't get mad and stuff like that. So, it took a long time on that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I've been getting messages, too, and sometimes it's like, hard to understand what it's supposed to mean and stuff like that. So I was wondering about that because I called a friend and because I'd be traveling soon and trying to find a place to stay. And they said there's a friend that Mm -hmm. they know and I could stay there if I'm staying. I could work there too. So 
and that and a lot of confusion to change my ticket and stuff like that. So I'm not sure what the right messages am I getting. I'm not sure if it's the front okay. I know or. Mm-hmm. So I have Archangel Samuel, Archangel Raphael, and Archangel Gabriel stepping forward for you. And they're asking you, what is it that you want? You have to get clear on that. What is it that you want? Oh, I know I and want you don't that. have to answer that. Yeah. <laughs> you don't you don't have to answer that right now. But you know, that is something that you could journal on. Okay? So what is it that you want? Set that intention because that's where the confusion comes in. Um uh, because you're not sure. Uh when we're indecisive it's because we're not clear on what our what it is that we want. So what is it that you want? Don't be afraid to express what you truly want because the divine wants you to be happy and they want you to live in that that joy and what it is that you want to do. So what is that? So it, it's important to do some journaling, um, do some self-care this week weekend for you, um, do those things that you love to do, um, and it will help you to gain a little bit of clarity on that. Um, and, um, yeah, do something that really makes you feel comfortable, okay, that you that makes you feel relaxed. Um, so what is that for you? So, you know, any ideas, you know, just write that down. Are you someone who paints? Am I asking for some paint? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so, you know, that would be a great way for you to uh, be able to express yourself and what it is that you're going through, um, you know, to be able to release some of that old energy out. Um, So using colors that you resonate with, um, and it doesn't have to look a certain way, you know, just get it on there, you know, and really get yourself onto that painting. Right? Okay, cool. Appreciate it. (laughs) You are very welcome. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. You too. Thank you. All right. Let's go to our next caller. We have area code 303. Hello? Hello? Hi, what is your name and where are you calling from? I hear there's a lot of background noise. Yeah, I, I'm 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 stepping outside. I'm in a noisy public place. Okay, that's much better. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I could barely hear my own thoughts. Okay, um, oh. <laughs> um, my name is Allison. I'm in uh, Florida. Hi, Allison. How are you today? So so. Oh. <laughs> okay. So how can I help you today? Actually, do you have something that you'd like to share of what it is that you've been going through recently? Um, mostly it's, um, I just had a, uh, 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 two months ago I made a, a cross-country move, and that's pretty significant there, you know, by itself. That's quite significant, actually. Uh, mm-hmm. But uh, mm-hmm. the... Um, Having some real challenges with uh, some challenges uh, with the um, the uh, the uh, landlords slash owners. It's a mm-hmm. private couple. It's not a corporation. It's a private couple who mm-hmm. are nice people who who own the home that I'm renting. I've, I had some issues with with them, um, mm-hmm. not just them as people. I mean, just things not getting done and things like it. Just, call it a really hard landing like in an airplane you know a hard landing soft landing Mm -hmm. it's a really hard landing in the last couple Mm -hmm. of months and i'm just it's just really bringing me down um it's turned out to be it's i don't know it's just a hard start to a to a new chapter in my life Mm -hmm. and um that started two months ago so Mm -hmm. i don't really know quite um just trying to figure out how to handle this, to be honest. Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So I have Archangel Raphael and Archangel Samuel stepping forward for you. And so yeah. they they first want me to tell you that it's going it's going to be okay. It, you're, whenever we start something new, it's always a challenge. You know, it, it, when whenever we you know step into something that is unfamiliar unfamiliar to us, um, you, we have those fears and doubts, and then we have all these other things come in that we didn't expect. But you know, this year is about rebuilding, and you've done a lot of that already. You know, you've you've taken that step. Um, that the divine has been showing you. But now it's time for you to kind of step back a little bit because they want you to take a little bit of a break. And when it comes to the landlords, you know, they want you to really, you know, really be honest with them. And I, I guess I'm seeing this as a pattern um, this week um, as well. Um, but, you know, don't be afraid to really be upfront and honest with them, you know. And I know there's a lot of fears that come in with that. Um, our ego likes to, you know, go there. Um, but know that everything's going to be okay. You know, everything will work out for you. Um, but, you know, just be open and honest with them. You know, they're going to be able to sense that. They're going to be able to uh, really um, feel that genuineness from you. You just have to, you know, express that with them, okay? You know, I understand what you're saying, but the number of incidences that have occurred just in the last couple of months, and there's a third party involved, by the way, as well, okay, a third party involved. And um, I, I feel, you know, I'm a very direct person, very communicative person, but I know, I feel very, very strongly that if I speak up, I'm gonna, they're going to kick me out. They're going to say, we don't want to, you know, we like you, but, you know, um, blah, blah, blah. You know, we were told blah, blah, blah. I, you know, I do not feel safe. Okay. Um, uh, okay. It's a married couple, by the way. So this is like an older couple. Okay. Just so you know, the landlords, it's not like a big corporation or anything like that. You know, so mm -hmm. it's a private couple. I like each mm -hmm. of them. But I also feel that if I speak my truth, I can kiss the whole thing goodbye because it will be used against me if I speak my truth, which, by the way, is justified, which is to say I have a legitimate, not a complaint, like in a court of law, <laughs> this would like, yeah, she was treated really unjustly in this situation, especially by the third party. So that's why I'm not saying anything because speaking up could cost me my home. And I cannot afford to move right now. Again, but you have, mm -hmm. but you have to trust and have that faith that things will work out for you. You just have to be able to be, you know, honest and upfront. And yeah, it, it's it's scary. You don't want to lose your home, you know. But um, we have to trust that other people will be able to feel into that energy that they're meant to feel. And it's part of trusting and having that faith and believing that everything is going to work out if we do those things that we know that we need to do, okay? So um, ultimately, it is up to you, um, but I, yeah. I know that, you know, what the divine is showing me is if you are uh -huh. up front with them, honest with them, and be genuine with them, that everything will work out, Okay. Well, I appreciate the input, and I certainly appreciate the positivity, but my life, uh, the reality of life, people don't always have your back. In fact, most of the time, they don't. So I'm very, very hesitant, and I think, but I'll think about what, what was the, what was the card that came, the, the, two, the, the angels that came forward, Samuel? So Archangel Raphael. Archangel Samuel. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay, gotcha. I don't know. Okay. I just think I I think I'm I think I'm poking the bear and that could that could bite me in the butt. 
sometimes silence saves your butt. You know what I mean? Saves your life. Saying nothing saves your life. Okay. You know? But anyway, but um, I'll think about what you said. <laughs> but I don't know. I, you know, just... And I know, no, I'm not alone, you know, in this, you know, the, the, taking, yes. what do I say, you know what I mean? Like, people say, you know, just trust the universe to be on your side and speak up and just trust everything will be okay. Actually, I know, I think there's a ton of us out there who can actually say that didn't work out exactly the way I, I hoped it would, but I did. Uh, and you know what, you know, things you know what I mean? Not- Things will not, yeah, things will not always work out the way that we expect it. Um, but, you know, when it comes to where does that stem from, that is a limiting belief that that needs to be healed, that needs to be let go of. So where does that come from? So, you know, something to think about um, yeah, to work is, yeah. through. Yeah, for mm-hmm. sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you very right. much. Please do Have a great weekend. You too. Happy July Fourth. Okay. God bless America. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. All bye. right. Bye bye. All right. Let's go to our next caller. We have area code six one four. Hello, caller. What is your name? Where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Hi. Are you? Uh, what's your name and where are you calling from? My my name is Philson. Um, I didn't get the name. I, what was that? Philson. Oh, all Philson, Phil. right? Yes. Yeah. Hi, I, I I I think it's been a while since I've spoken with you. Yeah, it has been. I hope everyone. So hope how are you? Well. I'm, I'm good, good, thank you. So how can they help you today? Um, I've just been um, meditating and journaling, and I I just wanted to know if there was any messages that they had for me today. Okay. So I have Archangel Raphael and Archangel Gabriel stepping forward for you. And what they're showing me, what I'm feeling, is there's a lot of different Fear is coming in right now. Um, I feel it in the solar plexus and your heart chakra. Um, so it, what, I'm, what I'm feeling is that you've been through a lot recently. You've been going through a lot and still kind of going through a lot. Is that correct? Yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay. Um, so... What what they want me to share with you first is to know that they are supporting you, okay? Um, I don't know if you've um, noticed any angel numbers recently come through, um, any repeating numbers um, come through for you. Um, yeah. Like uh, five, 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 um, like one. Yeah, all the time. Have you been noticing? Because what they're trying to tell you is that there is change coming. So there are things that are going to be changing for you, um, and it's going to be a new beginning for you, okay? But you have to let 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 the divine show you, okay, through the experiences, through situations that are going and opportunities for you that are coming in for you. But that fear that's coming in is keeping you from taking that step. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. It, it, it. I've been pretty distracted, and lately, I mean, the only thing I could think of, I've been, I can think of actually starting is, you know, a blog. And every time I try to start working, and I have done some posts. But every time I try to continue, um, I just don't feel confident. And so I, I don't like to work when I don't feel confident. It's, it's just a whole kind of mental roller coaster mm-hmm. that I go through, maze. 
And that has to do with a lot of limiting beliefs coming in from your childhood. But it's, it's, it goes deeper than that. Um, it it does, has to do with culture and uh, generations. So you can break. So I, I, what I encourage you to do is to do some journaling, okay? Journal out everything that's coming in, that that is bothering you, that's been stressing you out, that's been hurting you, that um, and memories that are all coming in. Know, to write it all down because this is going to be part of that healing process for you, okay? Um, so anything that's been really bugging you, um, write it down, okay? It doesn't have to make sense, but just write it all down with the feelings, with um, what's coming in through your mind, um, all of that. Even if you're hurting somewhere, um, where it is, um, all of that. And then what you're going to start seeing is some of that brain fog clear. Um, so do you right now feel as if you have a lot on your mind, like so much that you, you don't know how to process it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm scared of it actually sitting okay. down because it's just so much always going on. Mm-hmm. So write it all down. Everything, put it all on paper. Whenever you 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 think of something, whenever you uh, something comes in um, from your past, any memories, any moments, um, even even some of those that really hurt, especially if they really hurt, to write that down, okay? And this is going to be a release, okay? So what you should feel after you put everything on paper and may take a few journals um, to do that, you're going to feel this weight lifted off your shoulders, okay? It's going to feel a little bit lighter for you, okay? Um, because I feel this heaviness for you, too, um, that's within my body. Um, so, you know, to write all of that down, you know, put it all on paper. So it, it's this brain dump that we're going to do, Okay. And it should help clear the fog a little bit. Um, now, once we do that, um, what I'm being shown for you is that it's going to be then important to do some meditating. So to sit still, not completely still, like you, you, you will have some stuff come into your mind, um, but to, you know, do some meditating, you know, and what I, are you able to see very well, like, uh, mind's eye type of thing, um, dreams, stuff um, like that. My dream, my dreams seem to like always. Uh, I I'm like I can imagine things, but I I I guess if that's what you're asking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So as you're sitting to meditate, you're going to start seeing these images come in. Okay. So let them come in. Don't don't try to stop it. Um, because you want to see, sit still, you want it to come through, okay? And what you might want to do is then write that down as well, what it is that you're seeing, what it is that you're you're feeling and thinking of as you're meditating, as you're sitting there. Um, and write all of that down, and it's going to start to make sense for you. You're start to go, going to be able to start processing and organizing where all these thoughts are going and what it is that you're meant to see on what to write. It's going to help you with your writing, okay, with your blog. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So, yes, so it's going to be like a sorting of things. But then also what um, you're going to start seeing is that the divine is going to give you those aha moments that you need in order to share the lessons behind all those things that you've been going through and all those things that you you are going through right now, okay? So... Uh, you know, as you write down thoughts to, you know, make some space in between those thoughts. Um, it doesn't have to, you know, make sense at all at, at first. But as you make those spaces, you're going to fill them in with what it is that you learned from that 
um, that uh, situation. Okay. Okay. And it, it can I ask you a quick question? Like, what do they think about um, the celery juice kind of routine that I'm on? <laughs> do they have anything to say about that? Just know that everything is going to work out. It's going to sort itself out. But right now, focus on you, okay? Do some work on you. Clear out all the stuff that you don't need, and then you're going to start seeing everything fall into place, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. All right. You are very welcome. So, yeah, do those things that you love to do, and do that writing, and you'll really start to feel much better, okay? Okay. Thank you. That resonates right. so much. Well, you are very welcome. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. You too. Bye-bye. All right, let's go to our last caller here. We have area code 415. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hi. I'm glad I got in. Uh, This is Jessica from New Jersey. Hi, Jessica. How are you today? Hi. I'm good. Thank you. Again, I'm I'm glad I got in. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Just a quick question for you, um, because I know you pick up things quickly, so I'm not going to give you the whole story, because I don't think it's necessary, but... um, I, I've been unraveling. I've been doing that whole like brain dump thing you were just talking about, like journaling. I've been doing this for like a week or two about this one client that I just um, basically released. Um, and I'm just wondering, I know there's like a lot of different lessons here. Is this just like the main thing of um, basically I am enough stop over giving type of thing or like, I, I don't know, like there seems to be something else my mind is like seeking or my soul is seeking here. And I really would just like to put it to rest um, and move on. Mm-hmm. Um, you so, have, you, uh, you do have, you do have great intuition. That's part of it. Yes. You know, you, you need to trust that. <laughs> Um, so it's wonderful that you picked that up, okay? And, you know, the rest of it, it, it has to do with truly loving yourself and your worth, okay? You are worth so much, and you are needed so much with what it is that you do, okay? But you don't it, – it, it, with these limiting beliefs that are coming in and some of these doubts and fears, you you doubt that worth and doubt that you are enough. You are more than enough, okay? Hmm. Okay. okay. Yeah, uh, because I seem to have um, this pattern. I mean, I think this is the grand finale. I know it is actually. But I've had this pattern of, like, attracting these clients and these students that I give so much, and I I think I'm doing really good work, but then they, like, don't appreciate it or, like, they want more or they think it's too much money, it's not worth it. It's, like, all this crap. I'm, like, so tired of that. Um, mm-hmm. so, it has to do with... It has to do with loving yourself completely. So that that foundation of love for yourself. And when you understand that you are enough and you're worth it and you are needed, your services, your your what you do is needed, that's when things will start to shift. But there's this limiting belief that comes, it does come from childhood. It comes from how you grew up that needs to be healed and let go of, uh, you know, those fears that come in, that doubt that comes in, and those thoughts that you just mentioned, those come in, and those are triggers for you. Those come in because it needs to be healed and let go. So where does that stem from? And so, you know, when I say that, there's there's probably some things that come into your mind already. Um, 
that um, are from your past. So, you know, when you do your journaling work, you know, really dig in deep on that. Now, where does that stem from? And you can, and first by understanding that you are more than enough, that that the divine created you in their image, which means that you are a perfect soul. You are made the way that you were supposed to be made, meaning that you can do anything that you truly want to do. Having that in the back, back of your mind, as you go back to where it stems from, you can change that mindset. Okay. So I'm just going to sit in that energy. I'm going to meditate about that, like, all this week. Because I really I, – I am ready to be done with all this. Um, and I've done a lot of work around it. That's why I'm sort of in a way of, like, why is this still here? But clearly, like, there's another layer of the healing. So um, just mm-hmm. as far as, like, an action step um, – so, yeah, just do some journaling, but also as you do this journaling, you have to also kind of let the divine do its work too. So you have to kind of not like keep working at it, like keep pushing um, because the more you push, the the less you're going to see of the big picture of what it is that the divine is trying to show you, okay? Mm, okay. So, so, yeah, so there's going to be situations and opportunities that come your way that's going to help you to apply that into your life. So it's going to come in in the next few weeks. So just, you know, just have that in the back of your mind. Um, but, you know, when it comes to these kind of lessons, they they will – people like to call it a test. Um, it's really not – a test, but they just bring uh, forth experiences in front of you to apply what it is that you're trying to learn. Oh, I love that. Right. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. So, because I'm like, all right, let me just get it perfect so I could be done with this. But, like, um, <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm into yep. this. Um, thank you. Thank you for um, being there tonight because I, um, I got you two week, two, ti- two, times, uh, uh, two times in a row, two week, two ti- one week after the next. So thank you mm. for your help. I you are very it. welcome. Anytime. Yeah. And I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. Thank you. You too. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. So we – Bye-bye. We are at the end. <laughs> I guess I'm actually um hour and a half in now. Um, but, you know, I want to first thank everyone for joining me today. If you are still needing some guidance, if you didn't get a chance to um, get on live with me, you can go to facebook.com slash spiritual guidance radio. Um, and you can message me there if you are needing some guidance or if you are needing some prompts for journaling um, to help you through some things that you're going through. Um, I would love to help you that way as well. Um, So uh, I wish I had uh, more time, um, but I will be back next week as we um, go through July. You know, we're, we're, we're just at the beginning of July, but it's going to move by fast. Um, so you know, like I had mentioned, you can go to facebook.com slash spiritual guidance radio. Um, that's the, um, the title of the show. Um, and you can reach me there. You can message me there at any time. I will get back to you, um, through there. And then also if you'd like to book a session, uh, I do do in-depth sessions as well. Um, so sending you lots of love and light for those who are in the States. I hope you have a great 4th of July uh, weekend. Uh, it's on Sunday. It's a couple days um, now. So I hope you have a great one with, uh, and a safe one uh, with your family. And I look forward to speaking with all of you next week. So, you know, if you didn't get a chance to speak with me today, uh, please be sure to give me a call um, early on um, 
the next week. Um, I, I'm on at 7 p.m. Central Time, um, so be sure to tune in then um, so that um, you can speak with me uh, live on air. Uh, so sending you lots of other red lights, and until next week, we will talk to you soon. So bye-bye for now.